Hello everyone. So, as you all know, with the death of Queen Elizabeth, King Charles the Third will be the new king, or he has assumed the throne in Britain. So, with this, countries such as New Zealand, Canada, and Australia, and some other countries will be getting a new head of the state. That is, King Charles the Third will be the new head of the state. Okay. These three countries make up what is called the Commonwealth area. So, what is that? What is Commonwealth area? It is a group of 14 countries, okay, who consider the monarch of Britain to be head of their state. This does not consist of UK, United Kingdom. So, who are the member countries? We we'll see that. I have categorized them into three so that it will be easy for you to remember. In the first category, you have Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. So these three are well known to everyone. Okay, then you have Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, and Tuvalu. These are the countries which are located in Southern Pacific. Even these two countries are also located in the same region. Then you have one more set of countries from a different location, that is the Caribbean region or the Central American region. So these are the uh, Caribbean islands, which are Antigua and Barbuda, the Bahamas, Belize, Grenada, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Okay. So these are one more set of countries in the Caribbean region. So as I mentioned earlier, these countries such as Canada, Australia and New Zealand are constitutional monarchies. Their political system is designed in such a way that the head of the state will be the British monarch. Okay. So, first of all, you should know what is the difference between head of the state and head of the government. So, to understand this, I will just give you an example of India so that it will be easy for you. Who is head of the state in India? It is the president. Head of the government will be prime minister. Okay. I hope this is enough to understand what is the difference between head of the state and head of the government. So, apart from this, there is a necessity in some countries for a change in law or some statutory intervention to be to consider King Charles III to be proclaimed as head of the state. It is because Queen Elizabeth uh, had uh, stayed for a longer duration, such discussion never came up. Okay. So, there is a requirement for a change in law in some countries to consider King Charles III to be proclaimed as their new head of the state. Okay. I hope this video will be helpful to you. Thank you.